place called Waiting for Godot, um, and it's by Samuel Beckett, um, and it was uh, written in 1950. Nothing to be done! The part that I play is Estragon. No, and, um, yeah, he's, he's an emotional, egotistical sort of guy. Um, he's sort of physically, um, sexually impotent. Inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godo. You sure it was here? What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. I mean, the basic theme of the play itself it is waiting. Um, and I think a lot of people, I mean, it's, it's a universal thing. And I think a lot of people can actually relate to that um, on a very personal level. Listen! <laughs> You know that. All right. You gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? Got her. The wind's in the brief. I could have sworn I heard shouts. And why would he shout? At his horse. True. The set needed to be claustrophobic in a sense. And it just adds to the whole feeling of, of claustrophobia for, for the characters in the play. And the sense that they are confined to a very small space and and it gives them a, a much greater sense of um, urgency, I think, and real feeling of um, isolation, of sort of being trapped. One is what one is. No use struggling. The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Not to finish it. Jack! Let me go! Be careful. He's wicked with strangers. Beckett himself was a bit militant against, you know, um, there being any, any sort of deviances to the rule. And, uh, I mean, I think the, f the fact that there are two women in the play is, is great. And I think, you know, in future productions, I'd, it'd be great to see more of that happening. I play two parts, and one is Lucky, the character of Lucky, who is a slave, basically. <laughs> a slave to um, Pozzo, yeah. I carry bags and wear a rope round my neck. I don't speak as lucky throughout the whole play until um, one bit where I just have an outburst. Given the existence, as that informed from the public works of Punch and Watman of a personal god, Qua, 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 with a white beard, Qua, Qua, Qua. I ended up just changing my emotions basically, right from being happy and all jumpy to really sad or lonely or trying to explain something to somebody. With those who for reasons unknown, but time will tell. The fact that nothing does actually happen, literally, um, seems to astound them and um, keeps them on the edge of their seats because they wait for something to happen, which never does. What am I to say? Say I am happy. I am happy. So am I. So am I. We are, we are happy. happy. What do we do now that we're happy? Wait for God oh. The other part of play is um, a boy which is just sort of like a messenger boy who comes in and out um, yes, twice. You have a message from Mr. Goddard. Yes, sir. He won't come today. No, sir. But he'll come tomorrow. Yes, sir. Without fail. Yes, sir. The boy wears a red Nike baseball cap and um, sort of a striped baseball top. So I'm like the bit that stepped out of the 90s and come in. <laughs> Give the message. I think it's really good, good for people, you know, um, my age, to to see 
a production like this because it, it, it sort of opens them up to new worlds and yeah, it gives them a taste of something different and, and something to ponder, something to think about. Well, shall we go? Yes. Let's go.